I'm your host, Gary Seegers, and this is BetUS TV. Sports wagering is much more involved than just picking a winner or a loser. Odds show us the probability of an outcome, giving a value to each bet you make, whether on points, a straight up winner, or any other number of things in the game. So, what do these numbers mean? How are you supposed to read them? How can you use them to help decide whether or not to make a bet? On today's show, we're going to explain betting odds, what they mean, and how you can use them to make your bets. What are betting odds? If you're looking at the numbers in a sports book, the betting odds are the number under the money line or the number beside the spread or total. That number explains the price you must pay to win a specific amount and the sports book's implied probability that the result you're wagering on will happen. Understanding odds is one of the most critical factors in becoming a successful sports gambler. There are three types of odds you will find, fractional, decimal, and the most common, American. We'll start with fractional odds. If you've ever looked at preseason odds to win a championship, or Heisman or MVP odds before the season starts, you will usually see those in this format. For example, Georgia, prior to the 2021 college football season, was around six and a half to one to win the championship. Written out as 6.5 slash one, which means for every dollar bet, the gambler would win $6.50. If the better wagered $10, the profit would be $65. Next is decimal odds. These are very similar to fractional odds, except there is no denominator. You're doing the same math as fractional odds, but expressed as a single integer. For example, if you were to bet a parlay for $10, but the odds showed 327.3, you would simply multiply 10 by the 327.3 to get your payout amount. And finally, we have American odds, which are the odds you will see most often. With American odds, you'll see either a minus sign or a plus sign before the number. The minus indicates the favorite, while the plus indicates the underdog. If you bet the money line on the Rams for this year's Super Bowl, it would have shown up around minus 120, which means you'd have to bet $120 to win $100. Now, if you had bet on Cincinnati, the odds would have read plus 140, which means you would win $140 off of a $100 bet. What I've talked about so far has been for straight wagers. If you're betting on a spread or total, which both have to do with points, you're most likely going to see numbers from minus 105 to minus 125. Now this is sometimes referred to as juice, and it's what the sports book is charging for your wager. How do the numbers tell us what the payout will be from a specific wager for both fractional and American odds? We'll look at those two most common types of odds and explain how you can calculate the payout of the wager using them. Fractional is the easiest to determine. As we stated earlier, fractional odds are read as something like seven to one, which means exactly what it says. For every unit you bet, the payout is seven times that. You multiply the first number in the sequence by whatever your wager amount. So putting $10 on seven to one odds would win you $70. Now determining payout on American odds is a little bit more complicated. I explained a simple format earlier. Minus 120 means betting $120 would win $100 while plus 140 would win $140 on a $100 bet. But what if you want to determine a payout on a smaller bet? Let's say you bet $5 on a minus 135 favorite. The formula is this. Divide 100 by the odds number without the minus, and then multiply that by your bet. So let's take the numbers I just gave you. 100 divided by 135 yields 0.74. Then you take 0.74 times your $5 bet to arrive at the profit of $3.70. On the same token, betting on an underdog is just as easy. Just multiply your wager by the odds to the 100th place. Plus 150 would be 1.5 and you would have your profit. Aside from a payout, odds also show implied probability. So how can you use the different odds to determine the probability of an outcome in sporting events? There are two different formulas to determine this when it comes to American odds. Let's start with underdogs or the team with the plus sign in front of their number. For underdogs, you take 100 divided by the positive odds plus 100. And by the way, those positive odds plus 100 would equal your total payout on a $100 bet. So let's look at an actual number. If an underdog is plus 160 to win outright, take 100 divided by 160 plus 100 or 260, and that gives you 0.385, which means the sports book views the underdog as having a 38.5% chance to win the game. As for favorites, or the team with the minus in front of their number, the formula is nearly the same. For this one, 
you would take the odds number without the minus sign divided by the same number plus 100. Accounting for the more than 4% industry standard VIG, the favorite should be around minus 190. So the formula would read 190 divided by 190 plus 100, or 290. 190 divided by 290 equals 0.655 which means the sports book thinks there's a 65.5% chance the favorite wins. Now that we know how odds tell us implied probability, how can you use odds in order to find value and determine which bets they should make? The key to successful sports betting is all about finding value and finding the best number. You should always be looking for the best odds. For example, minus 120 is better than minus 135, plus 100 is better than minus 105, etc. Using implied probability will help you find which bets to make. If you believe a team has a 50-50 chance to win the game, but the sportsbook believes that same team only has a 38.5% chance to win, you would consider that as value. In sports betting, you'll be looking for as many of those value plays as possible in order to turn a profit. This has been your guide to reading betting odds and how you can use them to make wagers. Make sure to sign up at BetUS, where the game begins, and stay tuned to BetUS TV for more how-to videos on sports gambling.